Hello and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. I cannot believe that it is already March. So I have a giant bin of all, of, yes the bin is squeaking, of all of our February favorites. They're not in any order, I'm just gonna pull them out as they come. But yeah, these were all of the things we were loving in February for both me and the pups. So first off, right on top is this hat. If you watched our Valentine's Day hi, vlog, you would have seen me wearing it. So much fun. I feel slightly like a cowgirl in it, but keeps the sun out of your eyes. I think it's really cute. I got this from Nasty Gal. I think it was on sale, so I'm not sure if it's still there, but I know there's a really similar one from Anthropology that I'll link below. Okay. This is kind of hard to show you, but it is my top favorite for this entire month. These are the harnesses that the girls are wearing. I get asked questions about those all the time, so we're just going to unsnip those so you can see what I'm actually showing to you here. But this, we were just sent by a company called My Dog's Cool. I have loved them for years. That's where the girls' leashes are from. <laughs> Now they think they're going on a walk. But this is a, a leash splitter. So the My Dog's Cool one, they are, hey, <laughs> made in America. And it's made out of climbing, le uh, climbing rope. So it's really, really sturdy. They have well, brackets down here. Nico, you cannot have that. She found the carrot inside. It has about two feet of a V, so you can hook one onto Tink and one onto Meek, and they're not going to like split trees. All one piece of rope, there's a little eye here, a locking carabiner on here, and it comes to one loop. So I can use one hand for both dogs, really easy, makes life so much easier. A lot of times when I am walking the dogs, um, I will use this. If they just need to run out to the bathroom, I'll use both leashes just so they can wander around on either side of the path. But if you have two dogs, this makes life so easy, and I will link this down below. What do you think? Super, super heavy duty. So even if you have giant dogs, there is no way that this thing is breaking at all. The two girls are sled dogs and they can pull as hard as they want and this is not going to come apart. And I got mine in the color Glacier. And uh, apparently we have a theme. My hair, my shirt, and the leash all match. Go figure. The next thing was one of the dog's favorite toys. This was from our Bark Box last month. Yeah, you can come back up here, Meeks. Come on, back up. And this is the Hippie Bus. The Hippie was in our favorites last month, but this is Miko's new favorite. She runs around and squeaks it all day long. What do you think, Tink? <laughs> And a no favorites video is complete without a little bit of copper. This is a copper and glass tea box from World Market. It has a clasping lid, but super great if you are a tea hoarder like me. I have an entire cabinet of tea. I have boxes of tea, I have loose leaf tea, I have all of that, but I pick some of my favorite tea boxes that have bags in them and they fit perfectly into here. And it's beautiful enough to keep on the counter. I love this. I keep this on top of my bar, so all of my favorites are super accessible. Next is another dog favorite. This is from a company that sponsors the girls, I and Love and You, our favorite brand. I love all of their treats. I love all of the ingredients and in all of their treats and their food. And this month, they sent No Stink Free Ranger Beef Bully Sticks. Generally speaking, I hate bully sticks because they smell horribly and living in an apartment there's not really a, a big outdoor area unless I want to shut the girls on the very small porch. So these having no stink is wonderful for having dogs that are inside instead of putting them in a the backyard. Um, these are come from free range and grass fed beef so you know there's nothing gross in there and they are absolutely loving them. This is our Second bag and there are only two left, so you girls have loved these this month. Moving on to something that I've been loving. This is a Rosebud Kombucha from Upstart Kombucha. Obviously this one is empty. I just went to Whole Foods to pick up another one and they were totally out. So apparently everybody loves them, but I will insert a picture that I put up on my Instagram here. Yeah, you don't like this. 
Um, this is organic, vegan, delicious. Um, this is made in Boulder, Colorado, which is like 45 minutes north from me. So I love support, uh, supporting local businesses. And this is this really gorgeous pink kombucha and the rose flavor is not overpowering. I know a lot of times if you put rose in something, it's kind of too much for your palate to handle, but this is really subtle and really delicious. Next, we have another favorite. We worked with Petco this month and this is a little emoji. There is a picture on their Instagram, once again over here, with this on. And then it also had like a little heart emoji too, but the girls ripped that to shreds in like three seconds. But Miko has loved this one. She's a big fan of anything if you poke it, like we're doing here, and it beeps. So she'll put this on the ground and either squish it or poke it with her nose to make lots of things. And this just makes me laugh because seriously, yes. Next is another fashion favorite. This is a little necklace. It's probably gonna be a little hard to see from my friend William from the Etsy shop All Its Own. I got this in that same Valentine's Day vlog, but it is a piece of citrine wrapped in copper. Just a gorgeous necklace. And you can also, if you know what a pendulum is, you can use it as a pendulum as well. But just really striking. I love the feel of citrine. It doesn't take energy from anybody else. So it's a really great cleansing stone. The next is a candle. I am a candle fiend. I own way too many. But I burned this so much this month that it actually burned all the way out, completely empty. This is the Bougie Parfumé Chevrefeuille from World Market. I probably said that wrong. It is French. It's a, quote, luxury honeysuckle fragrance candle. So, Chevrefeuille, feud, feud. I took French in high school, and I haven't spoken it in a very long time. But I know that means goat leaf, so I'm curious as to how honeysuckle translates into goat leaf and vice versa. But smells beautiful, really reminds me of spring. I loved it so much that I have a brand new one that I got just a couple days ago and haven't burned quite yet. And last but not least, Costco is one of my favorite stores. And yes, these are carrots, but I get the big bag even though I don't have roommates because little fluffies over here absolutely adore carrots. You want this? Come up here. Come on. Up. You gotta get all the way up. You can't have it yet. Come on. Up. Yep. So they have been getting these as treats. Do you want one too, Tink? You guys can't have them yet. Come here. They have been getting these as treats, so super healthy. And delicious for the girls. Oh, you're going to eat it right out of my hand. Okay. So those have been our February favorites. Make sure if you like this video to thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you again soon. Bye. You own a collection of crystals. One of them is definitely an amethyst. And there's a salt lamp somewhere in your house. You have a favorite brand of kombucha. It's probably local. You also like to pair your kombucha with a giant burger, be it partobello or bison, extra cheese, and avocado, please.